I will demonstrate how we can create multiple data snap server targets. For Windows, we have a choice between VCL Forms application, a Windows Service application, and a console application. And some have more benefits than others depending on when or where you want to use the data snap server. For web applications, we have a choice between ISAP and SAP DLL, a web app debugger, an application that we can use to debug the data snap server using the web app debugger application, or a CGI executable, which by the way is stateless because for every request it will be started and stopped automatically. So let's use Delphi now and I will show you how we can create one application that will perform that will act as several different targets. File new other and now from the data snap server category we have two new wizards in Delphi 2010. Data snap server for the Windows based servers and data snap web browser application for the web based data snap server applications. So let's start with data snap server and now we get a wizard in which we can select which type of application uh, which type of application we want to use for our data snap server. PCR forms application, console or Windows service. Then, second area, we may select the communication protocol. Also new in Delphi 2010 is HTTP communication protocol, so I'd like to enable that by default, as well as HTTP authentication. Now, a server method class can be one of three uh, pre-built ancestors we can derive from T-persistent, or we can take a data module, useful if you want to add tables and database connections on-site uh, on a data module, or we can use, derived from T-data module, the TDS server module, which is also a data module, but one which has RTTI runtime type information enabled for methods. So let's use the most enabled uh, component now, TDS server module. And I'd like to include the sample method uh, just as an example. And I want to reuse my server module uh, for all six possible application types that I want to generate. So click on OK. And it will create a project type as well as three additional files. So we have project one. This is our data snap VCL server. Server container unit one. Server methods unit one. And the unit one and this unit one is the main form. This is the main form for my VCL Forms application. So let's save this application. Save project as unit 1 is our main form. Server container unit 1, that's fine. We have a server methods unit 1, that's fine. And we have project 1, which is our data snap server, our regular data snap server application. So this is our first project. Let's add to this project group other projects sharing the server container unit and the server methods unit. So right click, add new project, and again from the data snap server tab, select the data snap server icon. This time selecting a console application. It doesn't matter what we select here and here, because I don't want to use the server container unit and server methods unit that's generated for this new project. Instead, I want to copy the code. Um, I want to share these two modules in the new project. So, click on OK. And a new project is created with a server container unit 2 and server methods unit 2. Now, I don't want to use all of these, but I have to save the server methods unit 2 this contains a special uh, global routine, server container. Um, this contains a special routine, the run DS server method. Inside the server container unit, making sure that it can run on the console. Now, uh, this method is not part of our server container unit 1. There's no such thing as a run DS server. And it's specifically for console data snap application. So, in fact, instead of using it here, I'd like to copy this method to my console project. So, select all this code, delete, go to project one source code, and here, just before the begin, paste it. Okay. So, let's now save project one, and don't, uh, don't look at these errors yet, we will fix them in a minute. Save all, save server container unit two, 
we don't want to save it actually. Let's remove server container unit 2 from the project. Yes. Don't want to save it. Remove this one from the project. Yes. And now we have this project one that we can save as our data snap console server. Server. And adding to this project, we add the server container unit as well as the server methods unit. Now remember the code inside my data snap console server, this method that I copied, it now has a number of error insights. There are a number of errors types that it doesn't know about. D words, T input record, or well, these can be solved by adding the windows unit to the users clause. And our T server container 2 is unknown, and that's because we are using the shared units from our regular data snap server application. So all T server container 2's must be changed to T server container 1 in some places. And now we can actually save everything, save the project group, and try to build. And the console application builds as well as our regular Windows application. So these two application targets, PCL Forms application and console application, share the same server container unit and server methods unit. Let's continue with the third target. So go to the project group, right click, and say add new project. And again from data snap server, this time select a service application, a Windows service application, which is a little bit different compared to a regular application or a console application because it's a Windows service and you can run it actually without being logged into Windows. So the only thing that the machine needs to be is it has to be turned on, but the service can be loaded automatically without someone needing to log on to an account on the machine. So that can be quite useful. Um, the communication unit is a bit different. We cannot simply share everything here. We have to um, um, make the choices again for the communication types. And I'll click on OK. For a new project. And here you see inside my new project, the server container unit 2 with additional methods. Do stop, do pause, do continue, do interrogate. So server container unit 2. Uh, cannot be removed from this project. We actually have to keep it here, but we can remove the server methods unit 2. Server methods unit 2, the one derived from TDS server module, can be removed here. So, yes, remove it here. Save my project as my data snap service. So, not data snap server, but data snap service. Data snap server. Server service. And now we are going to add the data snap the server methods unit one. This project will not compile because my data snap service will have references to T server methods unit two. But if we resolve those, then now we can also build this project. And this means we now have three project types, um, two sharing the same server container unit, one with its own server container unit because it has several methods that are only applicable for Windows servers, but all three sharing the same server methods unit. So, and that's the crux of the story. If we want to add new server methods to this project, uh, exposing tables, uh, database queries, or other just methods, uh, then we can share them with between all three targets. And sometimes it's easier to debug and test one target and deploy another target. We may want to test or, or uh, debug